Welcome to Electro Online, and here is our last example of how to solve complex fractions. Well, not really solve complex fractions, but how to simplify complex fractions. So whenever we have negative exponents, the first thing we should do is turn them into positive exponents. So when we do that, we get the following. This is 3 minus 14 divided by x plus 8 divided by x squared. And right away, you begin to see why they, this is a complex fraction. So in the denominator, we get 3 plus 1 over x minus 2 over x squared. So now we recognize where all the denominators are. We have an x here, we have an x squared, we have an x, and an x squared. So you can see that the largest of the two denominators, x squared, is indeed the lowest common denominator. So now... The method is multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the lowest common denominator. So this, we multiply times x squared, and the denominator, we multiply times x squared. When we do so, we get the following. 3 times x squared is 3x squared. Here, notice that x squared divided by x is x, so we get minus 14x. And here, the x squares cancel, we get plus 8. In the denominator, we get 3x squared. Here, x squared divided by x is x, so we get plus x. And here, the x squares cancel, minus 2. Now, the question is, are these factorable? Hmm. Let's see here. We have a 3x minus 2. I believe the denominator is factorable. Let's give it a try. So we need this. We need a 3x and an x. We need a minus 1, so this is a plus 1 and a minus 2. Notice that if I multiply these together, I get 3x squared minus 2 plus 3x, that's a plus x, and a minus 2. How about the numerator? Can the numerator be factored? Well, let's take a look. Again, we get a 3x and an x. We have a minus 14 and a plus 8. That means that both of these need to be minus, and I need a 14, that means 3x times 4, and times 2 because negative 2 times negative 4 is plus 8. Here we get a minus 12 and minus 2 is minus 14 and a 3x. Now, are some things, can we cancel them? Yes, we can. We have a 3x minus 2 and a 3x minus 2. And so finally, the final result is an x minus 4 divided by an x plus 1. And there's the final simplified form of our original equation or original complex fractions, not an equation, and that is how it's done.